India has responded to the concerns raised by the special branch of the Human Rights uh, Council about India's IT rules 2021. The IT rules were finalized after due discussions with various stakeholders, clarifies India's permanent mission. Rules are designed to empower ordinary users of social media is also what uh, the response has been. Remember, in a letter to the Indian government, the UN said that restrictions on freedom of speech must never be invoked as a justification for muzzling voices, also questioning the timing of these new rules. Mohit joining us for more details here. Mohit, if you can tell us uh, what the response has been uh, to the issues that were raised with India's new IT rules. Uh, well, uh, you know, from the side of India, you know, it has been made very clear and this is through the permanent mission of India to the Office of the United uh, Nations and the other international organizations in, in Geneva. In its uh, letter, it has, um, the, the government of India has made very clear that first and foremost, India is a democracy and something uh, which is well known across across the world. And uh, we continue to uh, thrive when it comes to, you know, freedom of expression. And the same fact must be reiterated once again. But specifically talking about, uh, you know, uh, the IT rules and regulations, the government of India has gone on to say that first and foremost, was the Supreme Court in it, in two of its judgments, uh, Prajwala case of 2018 and the Facebook uh, versus government of India in 2019, uh, when it had in fact come out very clearly stated that uh, you know there is a need for enactment of certain rules and regulations so as to keep a check on the social media platforms. Secondly, uh, these new IP rules the government of India has said had uh, had uh, had become very very much necessary due to the fact that there had been outright and wide uh, wide concerns regarding the increased instances of abuse of social media on digital platforms, and uh, these would include uh, the the inducement of recruitment of terrorists, circulation of obscene content, a spread of disharmony, financial fraud, and the likes as well. So this is something that the Indian uh, the government of India has given as a, as a reasoning uh, to uh, to uh, the various national organizations, including the UN. Uh, but more importantly, you know, it has also gone on to say that it is not on a daily basis that uh, information would be sought from these social media platforms. They've already gone on to say that the total number of grievances which these social media platforms receive is something that would be needed. And more importantly, if at all, you know, there are cases with respect to a certain uh, obscenity, uh, the pornographic, or for that matter, you know, the truth in the terrorist or something that harms national security, only in those cases would the information be asked to be uh, to be to be once again you know given or shared with the government of India. So is government of India making it very clear that uh, you know what is being uh, promulgated or what is being uh, being used in social media as a as a hindrance in social in, in you know speech is nothing like it. There's just uh, there's just an image that is being transformed once again, and the overall uh, enactment of these laws was especially to ensure that the grievances raised by the public at large can be resolved. All right, uh, Mohit, thank you so much for joining us with all of those details.